Now this is an example of uh, application of uh, um, differential equation. Uh, so let us start uh, by reading the question first. A radioactive substance disintegrates at a rate proportional to the amount of the substance present. The 50% of the given amount decays in 1600 years. So this second sentence tells me that the half-life of this radioactive substance is 1600 years. So this means that uh, the given radioactive substance takes 1600 to become half of the amount of present amount of substance present at a time. That means if at time zero the radioactive substance weighs say 10 grams after 1600 years it would weigh 5 grams and again 1600 years after that that is after 3200 years from the initial time it will weigh 2.5 grams and so on okay so yeah uh, the first sentence is very logical the rate of decay or disintegration uh, is proportional to the amount of substance present so uh, let us say dA by dT, dA by dT, where A is the amount of radioactive substance, is proportional to A, where A is the amount of radioactive substance, T is the time. This implies dA by dT is equal to uh, minus Ka. Now, minus, I, the reason of putting minus is uh, because it's a decay, uh, it shows the decay. Okay, it is not increasing, it is decreasing. And K is the constant of proportionality. So this implies, uh, separating the variables, I can say 1 over A dA is equal to minus K dT. Now integrating both sides, I can say integration of 1 over A dA is equal to minus k integration of dt which implies natural log of a is equal to minus kt plus c the constant of integration okay so now when time is equal to zero when t is equal to zero when time is equal to zero when t is equal to zero your amount is equal to A sub naught. A sub naught is the amount at the starting. So in place of T, I'm going to put A sub naught. So in place of T, I'm going to put zero. And in place of A, I'm going to put uh, A sub naught. So this implies natural log of A sub naught is equal to C because this becomes zero. So this implies, I can say in place of C, I can put natural log of sub, uh, a sub naught. So natural log of a is equal to minus kt plus uh, natural log of a sub naught. Okay, so I'm trying to save space. So this implies natural log of a minus natural log of a sub naught is equal to minus kt. Now, using the log rules, I can say natural log of A over A sub naught is equal to minus KT. Okay, so what does this mean? Minus KT minus KT. Okay, so yeah. Now, changing this uh, into, uh, so the base of this is E. So can I say uh, A over A sub naught, writing this in the exponential form is, is nothing but E to the power minus KT. Therefore, you can say A is equal to A sub naught E times minus KT. So this is the equation of DK, where A is the amount of radioactive substance at any time a sub naught is the initial, k is a constant, okay, a constant of dk. So what information do you have? Okay, we have the information that when t is equal to 1600, when t is 1600, your a is half of your initial amount. So when t is 1600, you can, a is half of the initial amount. So in place of a, I can put 
a sub naught over 2 and in place of t yeah in place of t i can put 1600 so i can say a sub naught over 2 is equal to a sub naught e to the power minus 1600 t 1600 k sorry minus 1600 k so uh, the a sub naught will get cancelled so i can say e to the power minus 1600 k is equal to half okay so what can i do so yeah uh can i write i'm taking natural log on both sides so natural log of e to the power minus 1600 k is equal to natural log of half okay so what can we do now so this is nothing but applying the log rule so this is minus 1600 k times natural log of e is equal to natural log of 2 to the power negative 1 so this is minus 1600 k times this is 1 because the base of e is natural log is e so this whole thing becomes 1 so times 1 is equal to minus 1 times natural log of 2 now both the sides have negative so i can say uh, 1600 k is equal to natural log of 2 so I can say k is nothing but natural log of 2 over 1600. Okay, so this is the value of k. Now, now this question I got it uh, got from one of the Indian textbooks where students are not use, allowed to use a calculator. So they have given us a value. So we are very close. We are doing on the right track because they have given that uh, e of uh, minus natural log of 2 over 160 is 0 0.9957 okay so yeah what can we do so what is the form that we got in place of k this is k in place of k i can put what is k that i have got natural log of 2 over 1600 so i can write a so let me change color therefore i can say a is equal to a sub naught times e to the power uh, it's minus so I have to put minus natural log of 2 over 1600 times t okay now what is t t is given to be t is given to be 10 so when t is 10 we want to find after 10 years the question is uh, what percentage of substance decays in 10 years okay so first let's find what's the amount that remains after 10 years so this a will give you the amount that remains after 10 years so a is equal to a sub naught times e to the power minus natural log of 2 over 1600 times 10 so a is equal to a sub naught times e to the power minus natural log of 2 natural now this is 10 divided by 1600 is same as this is divided by 160 now we already know this this whole thing you can do if you allow to use a calculator uh, for those who uh, this is this value is 0.9957 but let us let me show for those who can use the calculator you don't need to remember this so what they have given is shift e bracket uh, natural log of 2 divided by 160 is uh, minus sorry so this is shift e uh, minus uh, natural log of 2 divided by 160 160 yeah 0 0.9957 they have rounded up to four decimal place okay so this is 0 0.99 this whole thing this whole thing this whole thing can be written as 0 0.9957 therefore a is equal to a sub naught times 0 0.9957 this whole thing e to the power minus natural log of 2 divided by 160 is 0 0.9957 so 0 0.9957 now what does this mean this means after 10 years 
you had 99.57% of the initial amount. This implies after 10 years, after 10 years, 99.50, because 99.57 of A0, A0, which is the initial uh, amount of radioactive substance. So you can say 99.57% of uh, the of the substance of the substance was present of substance or radioactive substance was present so how much decade how much decade this implies 100 minus 99.57 percent decade decade in 10 years. So let us use a calculator which is 100 minus 0. Point, you, could, you can do without the calculator which is uh, uh, so this is uh, oh, 99 yeah 1900 minus 99.57 yeah is 0.043% okay so this implies you can say this implies 0. Point, uh, let me change color this is not visible so I can say this implies 0.43% of the radioactive substance radioactive substance decayed decayed in 10 years now I'll go over this again now this is not very clear now this this statement means a is a is the amount of radioactive substance that is present and a sub naught is the initial amount so this a sub naught times 0.9957 this equation tells me that the amount of radioactive substance after 10 years was 0.9957 of a0 so in, in terms of percent, if you times this by 100, in other words, in percent, you can say 99.57 percent was present after 10 years. So the decay that was that happened in 10 years was 100 minus 99.57, which is 0 0.43.